we need to understand about our church is that we are not a mainline denomination. And so our course has not been chosen. And so we're not coming to follow a leadership other than the Holy Spirit. So what God told me that he has called us to gather around these three points I want to give you. That I am to gather to this place, that all of you and those who God are about to call to join us in this movement, we are about to begin a movement for more specific in these details. So we gather, we are gathering today around what God is doing and what God is saying today. We are a right now movement. Okay? So whatever God is doing in the earth, we gather to that, those words in that direction. Whatever God is saying in the earth, we come to follow those things. Are you listening to me? The church say amen. Amen. So we want to start with point one. God is calling the church back to holiness. Now, holiness is submission to God. Holiness is repentance, which is godly sorrow, and the goodness of God leads you to repentance, which means you have a changed mind. And when your mind is changed, the only way you can change your mind is to perceive the scriptures differently and to seek the word. You cannot repent by saying I'm sorry. Because you can't change your actions by saying I'm sorry. How many of you ever tried? Amen. How many people you know some of you will say I'm sorry and their actions doesn't change? So until you change the way you think about a thing, then you can be able to say I repent and I turn. And God, as you all know, has said, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray. They have to humble themselves and pray. And seek my faith. Seeking God's faith is seeking his presence. You can't, get, you can't see my face until you come into my presence. Not till. I want to see all the pimples on his face. If you got pimples, then I want to see the pimples. <laughs> I'm getting serious to see it. I don't have to throw that in. But I'm going to be close enough to see his face. You know what I'm talking about. In his presence. It goes further and says that you have to humble yourself and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then I'll hear from them and will forgive their sins and will heal their land. Now, when, God, when I was reading that this morning, I received the revelation is that when we do these things, that qualifies us to be God's people. He says, it's my people, which means there is a blessing that is left for those who are willing to turn from their ways, submit themselves to God, humble themselves, and pray, and God will give you the qualification. I don't think you already say it. There's a blessing in the day, in this year, in the rest of the year, days of this year, that you will get the blessing that God qualifies you for. And change your world. Are you listening to me? He will change your world. Right now. He's intending to do that. Between now and October 1st. Between now and October 1st. I'm giving you a specific time. You should be blessed. And your life should be changed. Your life has changed today since you came into where I'm talking. Are you listening to me? He says, if my people, are you his people? Yeah. Well, let me tell you who his people are. Those who have humbled themselves. And so James teaches us that humility comes by grace. James, in chapter 4, verse 6 through 7, if you would. You can't turn that, but you can listen to me. I, I'll read it correctly. He says, but he giveth more grace. Wherefore, he said, God resists the proud, but give grace, giveth grace unto the humble. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God, and resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Submitting yourself to God will automatically cause the devil to flee from you. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your heart, ye devil. 
double-minded. Be afflicted, mourn, and weep. Let your laughter be turned into mourning and your joy into heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. And what I'm telling you is, is you are, are now qualified by humbling yourself and turning from your ways and praying to God. That qualifies you to be a special group who heard him and obeyed him, and now are qualified to receive the blessing. And he has a blessing that's going to lift you up, bring you into a high place of authority, cause you to rule. We know what 
born in, participate in the process. And that needs to be the movement of the body of Christ. Well, I don't know about anybody else, but we hear the movement. All children need, and every child needs a dad. If they don't have a father, you men who are here, who may not be great fathers, who may not know exactly what you're doing, never had a child, child but God is turning the hearts of the fathers back to the children, and the hearts of the children back to the father. And you walk with him, that's 
salvation, but we 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 we, we sow the seed. Amen. Amen. As they're a sinner, they are good ground. Amen. Sinners are good ground for the word of God. Amen. Their idea. The worst they are the best. The best. But the worst they are the one they need, God. Young friends are doing that? I know and you should know that their party is not a party any longer. Amen. They're there because they have to do it. Amen. They don't know another one. And they're afraid to try another one. Mm -hmm. And it's killing them. Yes. There's a reason why, why, they, why they, they, they put uh, a cocaine and, and, and marijuana uh, 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 and, and things like that. And, uh, because it will kill you if you keep doing it. Amen. It makes your brain dry up. You got brain cells dying. Not because it's stopping the party. It will die if you keep doing it. And many of us are dying from alcoholism. We are dying from cocaine. This is illegal. Just think, just think when, they, when they decide to be so wise because we need some more money. And more, tech, more tax revenue. Come on, man. Yeah. How about seeking God? Yeah. How about putting Him first in your life? Yeah. Watch what He does. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Amen. No, I ain't listening to Him. Yeah. Go and tell them this is the acceptable year of the Lord. He said, Go and he, Jesus came to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. This year, you are acceptable. But I tell you that. to be able to 
will be increased. He did it. Boom. He said, throw some water in that, in that jug and go show it to the man. Between the time that they poured in the, in the jug till they got to the head of the, of the wedding feast, it turned into wine. He speeded up time. That's the God we serve. And he said, you can do what I can do. What I can do. If you believe. All right, we go on. He says, uh, and I say unto you, ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and the door shall be opened unto you. That's the fact, and that's the truth. That's as much the truth as it is when he says, uh, nobody can come to the Father unless by me. And you can't come to God as Father only through Jesus Christ. Right. Everybody's going to stand before God. Amen. So everybody's coming to God. You can choose to not have anything or not have any religion or you can be a whatever and you're going to go to God. Amen. This is in the cross. Amen. But you're not going to go to the Father unless you accept that Jesus Christ. Right. He's my dad. Amen. Is he your dad? Yes. But just say, I'm a father. I'm a father. Thank you, dad. Thank you, dad. Because you are good. Because you are good. You are very good. You are very good. And like I'm saying, he can do some awesome things. He just really, for somebody to give him a chance to do some super things. And he says this. Uh, verse 9. For everyone that asks to receive. Yes. And he that seeks to find it. And to him that knock it, it shall be open to him. Remember one of the qualifications is you got to say what God says, you got to do what God do, is doing, and you got to find what God is doing in this hour. And then you begin to see the power of God flowing because when God will send all heaven to make sure what he's doing is manifest. And the crazier you're doing it, the better. Is your faith rising up? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are you hearing what I'm hearing? Then you know, somebody says, uh, if a son shall ask bread of any of you, uh, that is a father, will he give him a stone? Or if he asks a fish, will he for a fish give him a serpent? Or if he shall ask an egg, will he offer him a scorpion? If ye, then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children. How much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Ghost and whatever you ask to them that ask them? Now when I read that, God told me to tell you, this is me going over my notes and I was preparing to, 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 uh, to, to go over the second part, God says, hold a minute, tell them these things, and tell them this, I'm better, I, I, I'm better to you than your dad. Yeah. I'll be better to you than your dad. Right. Now y'all miss that. I'm better to you than your dad. Right. If you can believe. Yeah. When I saw this church, and I decided to start this church, the, the second day after I made that decision, and burning in my heart, God gave me $20,000. Hallelujah. The very, before the next week was over, might have been that weekend, God gave me another 10000 oh, yeah. for me. Yeah. Uh -huh. God changed me and worked miracles through me in my own personal life that in my woundedness and in my sins, I had become in bondage and began to be held back by Satan. I didn't know. But God gave me a vision that I have lived up until this point. I'm still living that vision. But now I'm in a place where God has set me free. I am free. Amen. I am free. Amen. And God, the reason that people are attacking me, I know now very clearly, is because God wants me to lead a movement. God has called me to be a, a king and a priest and a prophet. Right. He told me. Amen. I don't have to go prophesy. I don't have to do, do a, a high priest stuff besides nobody. We have an audience of one. Amen. Nobody else matters. Amen. Because people who don't like what you're doing, you keep doing it, they'll start liking it. People will be against you in the beginning yeah. and join you in the end. Right. People, people will love you in the beginning. 
think y'all pay attention when I say money. <laughs> and a lady who I've been helping and blessing for, for years, I, every Christmas, I, once I met her, I, I, was, I give her children stuff. People would give me money and say, well, do this for somebody. And I always take it to her and buy their Christmases over and always off the check. Uh, with a man that came in town. And, 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 and he didn't have, he had a bunch of kids. Was like, when you saw them walking, you ever see the cartoon and, and, uh, and, and Char uh, Charlie Brown with the dust and when you know, they, it was like five kids and just like a bone tumble up. Everybody bumping and tumbling and dust kicking up everywhere. I mean, they come to church and bumping and tumbling. And, and, and next Christmas, God opened up to me. Right, I, I, I got everybody who was in there about it. And just all this stuff that people said, take this stuff, it's just over, we don't want it. We had to get into the house. This same lady had an accident who uh, we used to help. And she got hurt. Uh, she got a check uh, for, I think, I think she had, it was like $75,000. So and she was living in the project. She had seven kids. And, and, but she wanted to do, be nice to somebody. She said, see her older son. Well, what they can say, who could we be a blessing? She said, I know, Pastor Black. So she came in, she called me, and she said, Pastor Black, if, if, if I, if I asked you to do something, what would you do? I said, no, I am not going to do She said, no, 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 I'm serious. If I asked you to do something, what would you do? I said, no. You know, because you don't know what somebody's going to do, all right? You're not following God. You start 
to do my thing and do the wrong thing at the same time. And so look at over here at Exodus 33 and verse 13. Now therefore I pray thee, this is Moses speaking, that I may know thee, and that I may find grace in thy sight, and consider that this nation is your people. Listen to me closely. That first, that verse 13 is something you need to decide how to pray every day. And that prayer should be, if I found grace in your sight, how many of you got grace? If you're born again, you got grace. So God, if I got your grace, show me now the way that I may know you, and that I may find grace in thy sight. He says, that I might know you. If you've been hanging around me for the last month or so, you've heard me repeat this, this question or this statement and, and <clears throat> Are you not asking, what is eternal life? Jesus says, eternal life is to know God, the true and living God, and Jesus Christ when he is sent. That's eternal life, to know God and Jesus Christ when he is sent. And your life is eternal. You will never die. Your flesh will go back to the ground at some point, but you will never die. And, and he's saying, uh, that I might know you. You got that answer already? You got the grace already? And, 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 and he says, consider this nation is thy people. Consider this church is your people. Consider your family, my family is your people. <coughs> Generationally, that your children, how many you want your children to be blessed?
for this moment in time, <clears throat> in the name of Jesus, I just say that. What I've spoken in these words, we ask now for the anointing of Jesus Christ to flow freely. That you put on Christ. As he said, the Spirit of the Lord is upon you. Because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the broken heart. To preach deliverance to the captives. The recovery of sight to the blind. And to set in liberty them that are bruised. To preach the acceptable year of the Lord. That's help here on earth. Father, I pray for everyone here on the sound of my voice. If they are qualified and need that blessing, that they will receive it today, even right now. I thank you for being a healer. Thank you for being a deliverer. Thank you for being here. The one who needs to be saved, or, or men who need to be saved, and, and accept you right now, I pray, Father, you come upon them. Because, Father, we gave you the word, but we can't give the increase. Only you can give the increase, Father. Only you can heal. Only you can convert that wounded soul. So I ask you to move now, powerful.
Not to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Lord, I've got just any other thing I can do. 